it's a key nameplate for us um, in terms of volume. Um, it's that first experience that people have with a Volvo brand, but then they're also expecting this to be as luxurious as any of the other uh, of our nameplates. You start with the outside because you want it to look fresh, you want it to have a, a more of a look and feel of where the company is going from a, a, a design point of view. So that's where the designer started and they said, okay, the face. Uh, update the grill, make sure that we've got the new logo, very similar to the XC90 and the S90 that's just recently been launched. But more important in terms of bringing it in line with the XC90s is the Thor's Hammer LED lights. When the V40 originally came out, it was already a very, it was a very well-rounded package and style-wise it was actually a very appealing car. Um, it's also very far um, removed from its competitors, it's a very different looking car. But yes, I do think that the new model's improvements are um, good enough for it to compete with its competitors. Um, the new colours and the new wheel designs all work together to make it a very different and appealing package and something that one would consider instead of the usual BMW, Audi, Mercedes. Traditionally, um, we offer leather interiors, but this city weave that we brought in, which is a bit of a a more contemporary look is not leather, it's fabric and, and it really is quite fresh. It's a, not quite a tartan fabric but you know it still has a, an interesting look and feel to it. The materials that they use and the combination of materials, it's very, uh, use the word artsy but in a good way. Um, I just think that with some of the competitors you know it's very clinical. I, I think that, that maybe in this car that there's still room for a, a touch screen because that's the way the market's going. But it's not something that I'm lacking every day or would feel like I'm lacking. Pricing starts in the mid-300s and goes up, you know, as you go up into the engines. And you don't get an empty shell of a car that you have to spec up. The cars come standard with really good spec of features. If you were to look at uh, an equivalent from Mercedes, for example. The GLA, which would compete with the cross-country, is a lot more expensive than the Volvo. And the A-Class is also more expensive than the normal V40. So I do think that Volvo has come in very competitively with their pricing. After the XC90, the, the cars that are coming just look absolutely fantastic and build quality has improved. The technology inside has improved, as well as value proposition. We continuously very conscious of the fact that we have to offer value for money and that's what we do, I think, best in class.